Hi everybody, well, hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Fish Keeping Jamaica. Welcome to this channel. Okay, so um, I have this pond. This have uh, uh, twenty something uh, Jack Dempsey's in it. I think it's thirty something Jack Dempsey's in it. This is a two hundred and fifty gallon tote, right? It's uh, located in the back, back of my yard, right? Now, as you can see, the, uh, giant duckweeds uh, actually cover the surface of the pond. That's good for me because it actually um decrease the rate in which the water becomes green now my problem is when i'm feeding the fish um what will happen is that i have to literally put my hand in the water and move away the grass or should i say move away the duckweed right uh, anything that is green now i call it grass move away the duckweed um place the feed in it and what you'll find is that as the fish comes up and you know hurriedly try to get the feed um, the duckweed will be splattered all over the place and sometimes the feed um, is stuck in between the, the duckweed and they actually can't get to get it so I am going to have to physically remove it after a bit so today's video I'm actually sharing with you an idea in which I have so as to um, get this thing all sorted out I'm going to be making a ring that will actually float on the top of the water and when I place it in the water, it will actually I will actually remove all the the duckweed, and I'll actually place the the feed in that feeding ring, so the fish will actually come to that space, consume the feed, and that should actually solve the problem. Um, so here we go, a piece of foam, which allows um, what I'm going to be placing in the water to float. I have a bottle, right, uh, scissors, and silicone. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is to cut the bottle, get a piece of the bottle and I'm going to remove like uh, about this section of it going up and I'm going to remove so that, therefore I'm going to have about probably about uh, an inch, an inch and a half of the bottle going around. So I'm going to be cutting it now. So, so here I have actually um, taken out about probably about as I say about an inch. A little less than an inch and a half but uh, I know that it's roughly about an inch a little inch and a little bit right I'm gonna be placing this inside now so I have actually this is the ring this is what is gonna be going into the pond itself right this ring this thing right now what I'm gonna need I'm gonna need uh, pieces of this foam so as to go around the ring so as to not allow it to sink right i'm going to be using the silicone so as to hold it together so it will take some time to actually um dry and be able to use so that i can show you so stay with me what i said so i'm going to be cutting off a piece of the foam and i'm going to be showing you how i actually attach it so i have managed to actually cut out a piece of the foam i'm just going to be making it um into you know side pieces so that it can be attached nicely to the ring now that i have four pieces of um, foam actually cut out i will place them around the ring um, using the silicone so as to join it together and it will be there for a while to dry and then i'll test it to see what um how, how successful this task has been okay so the silicone have been placed um around the bottle the cut bottle and i use some close pins so as to um allow the silicone to be pressed to um silicone to be pressed to the bottle itself um please bear in mind that uh silicone dries uh, should i say silicone works best under pressure so therefore, that's the reason why I'm using the pins. Alright. So I am using the pins so as to actually help to compress the silicone to the foam. So uh, this feeding ring will remain there and it will dry. And I show you. Uh, the finished thing when I'm going to be using it in a bit so there you have it so there you have it I have my feeding ring right so I'm going to be actually sifting a little area placing it in the water and you'll see how it works 
so I am putting it in so what I'm gonna be doing now I'm actually gonna be taking out the plant that exists plant that exists in the middle I place it somewhere else So I have the middle piece here actually free from the giant duckweed. I want the giant duckweed to remain in the pond. It's just that I want to be able to feed the fish without um, much bother and have to be shifting them around. So that's it guys regarding making my own DIY feeding ring. Alright, so when I'm ready, I can just simply come in, look at my fish, place the feed here and uh, the fish will actually come here and actually consume their feed and everything will be good. That's it for another episode of Fish Keep in Jamaica. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye for now. Cool.